you can separate yourself from narcissism, and at the same time, you can feel the most beautiful feeling in the world because you have prepared yourself and become more confident than ever before. You can also say that this separation was the most needed thing to improve your life. However, despite that, there are some things that narcissistic personalities tend to do after separation because they greatly need attention and validation from any source, even if they have obtained it from their previous relationships. That's why in today's episode, I will tell you about 10 things that are very much needed after separation. Thank you very much for your support. If you find this content helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for helping to share this message with those who can benefit from it. The first thing a narcissist wants to do is always make you feel sad and broken. The narcissist always needs to feel like you've lost your best friend in life and lost everything because they don't really care about you. Instead, they want your attention and the result is their ability to control you and make you feel like the worst person in the world. The narcissist likes to be able to make their victim feel inadequate which is why they will try to make you feel this way after your separation. The narcissist doesn't care about the impact of their actions on others, but they care about the impact on themselves and what they can gain from it. The narcissist always wants to see you in pain because it makes them feel better about themselves. The problem with narcissists is that they feel better and more superior when others are suffering and in pain in front of them. The narcissist's ego is very stable when they see your tears at a time when they can't get your love and attention. Another thing that narcissists want after separation is for you to feel like a failure. The narcissist will make every effort to make you feel like a failure, even if they were the ones who separated from you. This is because they have no willingness to take responsibility for their actions or behaviors, and narcissists always need to make sure you can't overcome them. Narcissists are known to always blame the other party for the failure of the relationship and make sure you know that there is no one else who could be associated with you after the breakup. Also, narcissists will tell you that they were always bored during their relationship with you and always needed someone to understand them or feel for them. They do this to make you feel inadequate and unworthy. Narcissists are very keen on making the victim feel like they are the cause of all the problems and that the narcissist is the victim. In this way, the narcissist can keep people around them for the longest possible time, and they can continue to receive care and attention from you because of your fear of being accused by them of being the cause of the relationship's failure. Then, what the narcissist wants from you after separation is for you to beg them to come back. Narcissists rely on power and control and feel their best when they constantly feel desired and needed by those around them. They go to great lengths and make numerous attempts to convince you that your life without them is meaningless and that you need them more than anything else. Narcissists love it when you beg them to take you back after a separation because it gives them power and reinforces their sense of control over you and your emotions. This way is part of their sick game with you. Every time the narcissist makes you feel like he is the key to your happiness, he enjoys the situation even more. The next thing the narcissist wants from you after separation is for you to believe that you are the reason for the breakup. After a breakup, most people are eager to understand the reasons behind it, but the narcissist believes that if you interpreted it differently from how you did with him, the breakup would not have happened. In this scenario, the narcissist will never feel compelled to take responsibility for the breakup or be the cause of it. Instead of holding himself accountable for his actions, he will blame someone else for their relationship problems. The narcissist continues to make you feel guilty and ashamed and will try to convince you that it was all your fault and that things would have been completely different if you hadn't been the cause of what happened. Next, the narcissist plays the victim role to make you believe that he was better than you or that he had to hurt you in the way he did. Usually, after separation, the narcissist will try to show his victim how his life has improved without them and may claim that he knew the relationship was doomed from the start but stayed with you out of love and attachment. The narcissist always wants to be sure that you are suffering in some way. If he can't make you suffer physically, he will make you suffer emotionally. That's why you'll often find the narcissist boasting about his new life and new relationship, how he's better and happier without you. The next thing the narcissist wants is for you to change drastically in your new relationship. The narcissist wants to make sure, after waiting for him, that you still have feelings for him and are still thinking about him. This will make you feel intense jealousy and pain when you see him appearing to be happy in his new relationship. 
you'll start wondering what the difference is between you and the person he's with now, and this is to ensure that he knows you're paying attention to him and still care about him. The narcissist wants you to believe that he's living his best days while you're in pain and shock due to your separation from him, and that he's advancing in his life while you're still dwelling on what happened between you. The next thing the narcissist wants is for you to believe that he has changed. After the separation, the narcissist will be eager to show that there has been a change in his life and behavior that makes you believe he has truly become a completely different person. However, be aware and sure that narcissism itself cannot change, it only changes its tactics. When the narcissist tries to make you believe he has changed, it's an attempt on his part to prepare you for the day when he tries to win you back in any way possible. You may receive messages from the narcissist claiming that he misses you or regrets the separation, but all of these are lies and attempts on his part to open a new chapter with you and use you again. The truth you should be aware of is that the narcissist has no remorse and only cares about himself. His main goal is to re-enter your life and gain more control over you than before. Afterward, the narcissist wants to prove to you that he was always right. He will try to convince you after the separation that his thinking and opinions were correct all along. The narcissist will attempt to make you believe that you were wrong to leave him, and if he can't do that, he will try to make you feel guilty for leaving the relationship in the first place. The narcissist sees things in black and white, either you're with him or against him, and he will try to manipulate you into believing that he was always right and that everything he did with you was justified. This is done to make it appear that he is trying to improve your relationship or that everything was your fault from the beginning. Furthermore, the narcissist wants to feel superior to you. The narcissist will go to great lengths to ensure that he feels superior to you after the separation. He will try to show you that you were just a guest in his life and nothing more. He does this to make you feel unimportant and that he doesn't care about you at all. The narcissist needs to feel like he's better than others to maintain his self-esteem and confidence. If things don't appear this way, he will go to great lengths to make it seem like he's the best at everything he does. The narcissist doesn't feel happiness unless he feels like he's at the top and better than everyone else. He wants you to see him as superior to you in every aspect, such as looks, work, or intelligence, and this is all after the separation to make you feel that he has succeeded and triumphed over you. The next point is that the narcissist wants to take revenge on you. The narcissist needs to take revenge on you after the separation to make you feel the worst feeling in the world. Therefore, he will do anything to make you feel guilty or to portray you in a negative light in front of others. He will spread rumors or tell lies about you being responsible for what happened between you two after the separation. This is an attempt on his part to make you feel bad about yourself and believe that you are unfit for any relationship as if any relationship you enter will inevitably end in failure. Keep in mind that everything he tries to make you believe is untrue. He is trying to cast doubt on your mind and your thinking because, from the beginning, he was never truly interested in you or loved you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, write them in the comments. Also, if you have any comments or suggestions regarding the channel, write them in the comments. If you have any advice or ideas to help me improve the channel, send them to me.